No, I've got another bonfire. It looks lit. Light bonfire. Okay, we'll light the bonfire. And this is where we just continue on. Because we ain't done yet. We ain't quite done yet. Over here. Unique item. Uh, where? Oh, it's up, it's up upstairs. <laughs> oh my god! I thought they moved the uh, the spell. <laughs> that would have been embarrassed. That would have been very awkward and very confusing. If we actually like moved it, be like, here's the uh, strong magic shield. Oh shit! Where's the strong magic shield? No, it's actually top floor. In the same location. The stairs are facing the opposite way to where we can where we can cross, but luckily we can go into this room now. Oh shit. Bastard. Organize my item box to like only use only shield rings that I'm actually going to use. Magic resistance ain't too hot on this, uh. Too hot on this thing. Yeah, still no channelless trident. Bit of a nuisance. Yeah, again, no item there. In that chest over there is a crossbow called the Avalyn. Uh, thankfully, we don't need it for the for the uh, for the trophy because it's hard. It's a fucking pain in the ass to, to make that jump. But there is a, there is actually a wit cheese to doing it. Which I have no interest of uh, doing. Because I don't need it. Because even even though it's a free shot crossbow, it is at the end of the day still a crossbow, and it was I think complete shit. stairs like fucking Harry Potter or some shit and moving these stairs will actually move all every time you flip switch to flip some stairs it will flip every stairs in the area and, uh, there's nothing there and there's a chest over here actually so we'll grab that I don't think there's anything spectacular in it though uh, one twinkling. I think I might upgrade one of my uh, unique armors, like uh, the like the embraced set or something, just so I can have some maxed out armor because this plus six armor is starting to uh, fail on me. And unfortunately, you have to max that if you want to like max out uh, like uh, like it's normal like, titanite armor like this. You need uh, a titanite slab. Which is a real pain because Titanite slabs are pretty rare, and I would love to walk around as an elite, elite night thief. But it's just not not practical. There we 
go. Now we can actually drop down. I thought there was another channel down here. Oh, oh no, I hear him. I hear him. Where is he? The hell? Oh, he's down there. What's he doing down there? How did he get down there? Whatever. Whatever. Anyway. There's a reason for coming up here. Huh? Oh, it's not a mimic. I thought it was a mimic. Uh, strong magic shield. Uh, another sorcery to cross off the list. So that's what we'll do. We'll cross strong magic sorcery off the list. Basically makes your shield super tanky. And the cool thing about making your shield super tanky is that you can actually uh, make it so it blocks all damage and give you infinite stamina. Because if it's uh, if it gives you a hundred stability, you uh, essentially get you know well that. Why is this room so dark? Odd. Very odd choice. Now there is actually a mimic in here. Uh, not this one. This is the uh, channeler set. You can dress like those weird people. This is also not a uh, thing. This is actually the key that we need to free Logan. Okay, that's the uh, mimic. Oh, come on, just die. I have no visible health, but I'm still going to attack you. Enchanted a falchion, which will be good because we don't. It means we won't need a certain uh, ember. But I'll show you where the ember is, uh, regardless. Crystal ember. Again, we don't need that ember because we've already got crystal weapons on us that we can upgrade to max out and uh, and make our. Uh, Max out and make. Where the fuck is the homeward ones? There we are. What we can max out and get the trophy for, but I feel I figured if you want to make a crystal weapon your own choice, I'll show you where the ember is because there's no. I don't think there's any trophy for getting all the embers, which is a shame, but. guys aren't really running away. That's two attacks at the same time, which uh, is very bad for your health. How am I like stabbing through one guy? Like I keep stabbing through the guy that's in front. 
There we go. Come on. Just leave me the fuck alone. Oh yeah, there's more gear over there. How do I... I can't even remember how to get that there. I don't think it's anything powerful though. It's literally just souls. Oh wait, no, there was a, there was a gate on that cell. I've ne never even noticed that gate. I suppose I can go over there in a second and have a look. I get the feeling it's a one-way trip. Anyway, I've got Ring of the Firstborn on. And Wrath of God, so let's do this. There we go. Don't want to get too close, because you will end up attacking our boy, Logan. Humanity, like I said, you can find humanity off of these guys. We didn't talk to him earlier when we were before we entered, so that's kind of annoying. Oh, thank you very much. I'm saved. That makes twice. I must be sure to repay you. I will visit the archives. If I discover any new spells, I shall share them with you. Prepare to be impressed by the onward march of the sorcerer. Hello. Don't mind me. Go on ahead. I'll head out soon. I wish to lay down my plans before I visit the archives. Now, uh, he actually can... S he should, at this point, sell you all of his uh, sorceries without you meeting the uh, requirement of intelligence, which is 15. Uh, failing that, we are at 11, so 4 points in intelligence isn't too much of a sacrifice, but it is and it is expensive this early, this late into the uh, our, to our levelling. door do I need to go through to get up there? The fuck get off there. Oh, let's try that one, that one there. like plank bridge down there that we could take just drop off yay look at that and souls a brave warrior Oh, and you can actually drop straight down on top of the uh, thing in order to uh, get an early start on the uh, these fucking knobheads. Fortunately, that one didn't get fucking affected because he was in the middle of some random animation. Backstab this guy. They do drop quite a generous amount of souls. Also, failed to point out that we actually picked up a firekeeper soul, which uh, we can use. So we can get our Estus flasks to plus four now, which uh, means. Uh, Healing miracles might not be as, might not be as uh, essential.
Uh, just like that th last time, I'm going to take the same route out of the uh, archives. Only this time we're actually going to rest at the bonfire that we are lit. Because that, that one we can fast travel to. And we're also going to probably restore our humanity as well. Purely because it just seems like the right thing to do. I will just, uh, I will flip the switch here and uh, make everything the other way again. Purely because uh, it'll be easier to farm a certain item later when we're doing all our weapon drop uh, farming. Seems like it'll only teleport if we're close to him. Which is a weird, weird quirk, I guess. Essentially, there's three of these sorcerer guys that we need to kill, and they're all a pain in the ass.
Yeah, you got two. You got two up in this room, and you got one in the uh, over over room, and you got to kill them over and over again, forever, until you get your extremely rare channelless trident. Unfortunately, we're not leveling up with these souls. We're actually going to be spending all of them. With this, on this guy. I don't like the fact that I can't just stack up, I can't, like, queue them like that. Well, it's probably a bug where you selected, uh, the set, because it was, because the uh, option is up on your screen for, like, a split second, you probably, uh, have the ability to, uh, pop multiple versions of the same one. Hello there, I was expecting you. This place is truly magnificent, more than expected even. As promised, I shall share the new sorceries with you, and the secret of Seath's immortality. Okay. Ah, the secret of Seath's immortality. If you have fought him and were imprisoned, you must know that Seath is a true undead, different from ourselves. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. It is an effect of the primordial crystal, a sacred treasure pillaged by Seath when he turned upon the ancient dragons. So only by destroying the primordial crystal can you so much as scratch his hide. And it so happened. The primordial crystal is in the inner garden of these very archives, the Crystal Forest. Interesting. The tomes stored in these archives are truly magnificent, a great pool of knowledge, the fruits of superior wisdom and an unquenchable desire for the truth. Some would say Seath had an unsound fixation but his work is a beautiful, invaluable resource. All progress demands sacrifice, and I certainly bear no antipathy for that wonderful and scaly beast. The tome stored at some woods all and I Alright, okay. So let's buy the spells that we don't have, and they're all pretty expensive. Like, we can't even afford all of them. We've got two missing still. And we do need to... Come again. <coughs> the knowledge here is limitless. I will absorb it, then share it with you. Uh, we will need to... Um... We will need to buy them. Like I said, it's unfortunate that we couldn't afford everything with uh, the souls that we collected. Right here, we get the prism stone. We get 20 of them because this next section is kind of a uh, funky. And also, look at that—a gold, a gold golem. Earth is a gold, go golden golem doing over here. Should probably use m more fire, fire paper just to. Uh, he has a lot of health, or maybe it's just a lot of defense. Maybe not a lot of 
our defense. See, there is a there is someone trapped in that crystal, much like Dusk from earlier on in the game. I don't really get a good angle on on it, but it looks off. The person in there looks awfully familiar. These guys have quite a lot of damage resistance. And a lot of damage output. What the fuck? I legitimately was not expecting to get fucking killed. But, like, it... Whatever. Can't say anything fucking surprise, surprises me. What the hell? Why why are them lot aggroing over there? Why the aggro? That's not exactly fair. That the aggro di di distance changes between fucking attempts. There we go. And you actually can farm these guys for blue chunks. Now. Who the fuck are you? It was you who rescued me. Why, thank you. I am Zieglind of Katarina. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. It wasn't terrible in there, but I could hardly move. I must think of some way to repay you. Oh, have you seen my father? You wouldn't miss him. A suit of armour just like mine. Yeah, I've seen your father. Thank goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Now if we'll just stay put and keep out of trouble. Nah, he, he f keeps finding trouble. Thank goodness. Well then, now if Okay. Keeps finding trouble and I keep having to save him. That's pretty much how it's been. And that uh, knight that we killed, uh, here's, here's his armour. Crystalline knight. Malarkey. I believe that's a blue chunk item. 
taking you down. I like how the trees. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be crystallized, but it still looks like shit. Game. The game looks about the same as it does on 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 PC. thing here that will initially teach you that not everything is right and it'll give you some humanity as well and we get moonlight butterflies as common enemies we could actually farm these for titanite slabs I've never actually had a blue titanite slab drop from them but uh like I said the options there it will develop a message path ahead, so yeah. They added that message in a patch because people were just like, what the fuck is this? What the hell? That ain't good. No, you're using the wrong weapon. There we go. Didn't actually, uh... I actually did miss one, though. Unfortunately. Why did you not switch your weapon when I pressed the fucking button? Oh, yeah, I'll press the fucking directional button to change my sword, and then I'll pre press R1. No, 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 let's ignore the d directional button in input and just fucking play with our pyromancy fist for no reason. That sounds like a better idea. There we go. This one's a right bollock to navigate. This is why we're going to use prism stones. That's a blue eye stone. Uh. Because his path bends. It's fucked up. Like, really, really cruel. But luckily, people... Have... Some kindness in their hearts to put signs down. And there we go, blue titanite slab. Also, fuck walking, let's fucking homeward board out of here. <clears throat> I'm gonna try something. It graze it out. <laughs> I guess they have that 
gameplay consideration that consideration in place, which makes sense. Yeah, so if I need eighty thousand, god damn it. Farewell. Eighty thousand. Just, just absurd. Anyway, next video we're gonna go and see, take out see for scaleless and hopefully get what's left of our what's left of our uh, magic. <laughs>